Xin Xiao, what's up everybody? All right, so I had no idea that the implant dental video would be so popular. Fix this microphone. Okay, but it was, and there's a follow-up to it. That video was shot uh, five months ago when I first got the tooth pulled, and uh, yeah, so we'll go over the whole thing. So the cleaning and the cavities were covered under my insurance, which just covers like minimal, like $3 million a year. And that was well under $3 million for the cavities and cleaning. So if you need cavities and cleaning, that's not a big cost at all. Even if you pay out of pocket, it's like 10, 15, 20 bucks, 30 bucks tops. So this is really more about the implants because I know implants are really expensive everywhere else in the world. And by the way, if you do like this video, I'd appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. If not, no worries. But uh, this is more about the implants and the procedure and the review of it and how well they did and what I thought about everything. So the place I went to is Kim Dental. And if you wanna go to the exact one that I went to and see the same doctor that I did, you're gonna need to send me a DM and verify your first and last name and your YouTube handle. That's pretty much the only way I'll give you the information on that because yeah, the internet. So if you do want to go to the exact one I went to and see the exact doctor, she was really good. That's totally possible, but you got to DM me either DM me on discord if you're already on there or Instagram's okay. Or you can send me an email. But like I said, you got to verify your information first before I'll give you any information. So the implants I got were the Korean ones. They came with a 20 year warranty, I wanna say. Um, when I first went there, I had a wisdom tooth pulled. I had the cavities filled and I had a deep cleaning. Uh, I went back a week later after that healed, about two weeks later, and I had both implants done at the same time. Now, if you've never had implants done, it is not the funnest thing in the world. It's probably worse than a root canal, but I would still suggest getting an implant over a root canal because I've had two root canals before where the doctor wasn't honest and, and these were high-end doctors in LA and they just went for it anyways when they shouldn't have. There wasn't enough tooth left and eventually both, uh, both of them broke. So I just ended up wasting so much money to end up getting the teeth pulled because there just wasn't enough tooth left after they did the root canal, even with the crown on it and stuff. So. If I ever have that issue again, which right now my teeth are perfect, I have no cavities, both implants are in, uh, I floss every day, I brush my teeth twice a day, and I'm gonna regularly see the dentist for cleaning. But uh, yeah, so the total cost for the two implants was 52 million dong, which is roughly right around 2,000 USD dollars. I was able to split that up into a 12 month payment plan, which was pretty cool. Um, I got the Korean ones. So they, you go in, they drill the two things. So they, I got two drills, both on, were on the bottom. It was not fun, it sucked. Um, my doctor was amazing. She held my hand like a little kid. She could tell that I was nervous. I'm not like a big dentist guy, as I'm sure a lot of people aren't, but it definitely really sucked. It wasn't fun. Uh, you take care of your teeth. You don't wanna get in that circumstance in the first place. But yeah, so she drilled the two holes, she dropped in these like metal screw in things. And then it's a healing process after that before they go on to the next phase. So the, the drilling per, per implant took half hour, 45 minutes. One took 45 minutes, the other one took like 25 minutes. One was more complicated, the first one because I was so nervous. And then once I figured out what was going on, you can feel the drill, like all that stuff. Um, once I figured out what was going on, they did a good job, they numbed everything. I didn't need any pain medication or anything like that. Um, afterwards, even, you know, it was minimal. There was bleeding and gauze, but like, I think I took ibuprofen. There was only pain the first day and it was very minimal. She did a pretty good job. So then the process after that is healing. And mine took longer than normal. Mine took about 35 days to heal. So there's nothing that can be done until that heals. And then once that heals, you go back in, they check everything, they see that that's okay. They take x-rays. And then uh, they fit a mold in your mouth for the teeth. So they take like a basic mold of your mouth for teeth. So then you gotta wait four or five days for that mold to a week. Then you come back and they put this new stuff in there and then they start test fitting the molds, that, that teeth. 
This is a dollar. So I just took up two spots, two teeth. So this is a dollar one. And so they start test fitting it in and they start grinding it and test fitting it and grinding it and test fitting it. That took about a half hour, 45 minutes per tooth as well. Um, and then they take more x-rays and it's pretty straightforward. That was it, you know. I could, I would say if you could probably, if you heal fast, you could get everything done in 45 to 60 days. I think the quickest you could get it done is 35 to 45 days. So I don't see that there's any way to get it done in less than 30 days from what I experienced with my dentist. Again, she was phenomenal. She did a great job. She knows perfect English. She was very friendly. Uh, I, I couldn't have been happier with the service. I would recommend, you know, Kim Dental all day long. They have so many different locations. I'm sure the other ones are just as good as the one I was at. But yeah, she was a real rock star. You know, she gave me her information if I ever needed her for anything. When I was in uh, Cambodia, one of the things came loose before I got the permanents. And I just had to screw it back in. So they are they do feel different like the first two days when you get the implants. It feels a little bit different from like uh, what what it should. But after about two days, you get acclimated to like how, how they feel. And now they're perfect. Like she did a perfect grinding initially. She said maybe that there would be some pain on the upper teeth and we would have to readjust. But no, she did a really good job. I uh, is uh, uh, yeah. uh, I'm really happy with them. Granted, you do have to floss more, but I floss all the time. I carry like one of those little plastic flossers with me everywhere when I go eat. So for me, not a really big deal. Um, I would recommend you get dental work here. Uh, if you're going to do multiple implants like me, you're going to need, I would reckon, 45 days. It, it's going to be pretty difficult to get it done in under 30 days. You can see if they'll expedite it, but you'd have to check with the doctors and stuff. But from my experience with the place, I had a good time. She always made sure and checked to see if I was in pain. You know, they fully numbed up my mouth properly before they started the drilling for the implants. It's exactly how you would think it is. They literally take a drill, drill holes. You feel your jaw like vibrating. It's, it's definitely not a pleasurable experience, but if they numb you up enough with enough of the, the, the Novocaine, it's not too big a deal. Um, Again, I hope to never have one again. Uh, I think the Koreans, I got the Korean implants. There were Swiss ones that cost like 30 million each, so it would have been like 30, 35, so it would have been 70, 70 million. And, you know, I, I like Korean products. I'll roll the dice on the Korean. We'll see how it goes. So far, so good. You know, I feel like regular teeth now. So as far as the experience goes, I give it like a, it's, you know, dental work sucks, but as far as like that experience goes, I give it like a 9.1. Customer relations is good. The staff is nice. My dentist spoke English. The place is very clean. Like I said, there's dozens of these locations. So I'm not going to give you the location I went to. I'm not going to give you the doctor I had. But if you do want that, like I said, you can DM me. I'll give you the information. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I get no money out of this or anything like that. It's just a dentist that I found that works well. And because of the internet, I can't put it on here. Wish that I just could, but hey, we know how the, the good old internet rolls. So if you guys do want the actual information on the exact place, like I told you how to get, get at me. If you want to see extra additional content to the channel, sign up for the Patreon. And if you want to see all kinds of general information, world traveling, food vlogs. I'm not one type of vlogger if you're new to the channel. I pretty much film everything. Whatever's going on in my day that day is what you see. So thanks guys for watching. Hope I answered your questions. If you have any more additional questions in the comment section, just leave them there. We'll try to answer them. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Keep your teeth clean. Peace out.